Shaitan only cares if you don't do it this way, do it that way. For example, it comes to your mind that uh, there's this girl that you like and you should talk to her. So now you try hitting her up. She says, I'm busy. Girl A, I'm busy. If it was your nafs telling you, you would say, okay, you know what? It's done tomorrow. We'll talk. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But if it is shaitan that is telling you, you'll say, oh, girl A, she's busy. What about her friend? Maybe I should ask her if her friend is busy. She's busy. Oh, what about C? You can't do one sin. Let's okay, do another sin. No, third sin. No, fourth sin, fifth sin. His purpose is only that you commit sin. Whereas your nafs is like a child. It whines for one thing. How do you train a child? You don't give him what he asks. You keep giving that child whatever he desires and that child becomes spoiled. And it is for this reason today, our lives are surrounded on material. We buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. We buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. A materialistic world. I was reading statistics. We talk about that the world today that we live in, there's a lot of comfort. And there's a lot of ease. We got nice cars and mashallah, cell phones or hell phones. And you know, we got credit cards and we got this Facebook and Twitter. We do whatever we want. Do you know in today's youth, go and ask half of you are youth. Let me ask you this question. How many of you are suffering from depression? I don't want to see a show of hands. How many of you are suffering from depression? How many of you are suffering, suffering from loneliness? How many of you are feeling that you don't get enough attention? Where is this coming from? Your nafs. It requires you to be socially aware of Facebook. Whatever happens, you need to put it on Facebook. I need to put it on Twitter. Do you know, you want to know reality what Facebook or Twitter sounds like? If you get a random kid standing up in the middle like that kid just said, yeah. It sounded so out of place. Imagine a random person stands up in the middle and says, I had ice cream for dinner. Another guy says, wow, that Ferrari was nice. Who cares? But this is the reality of a platform where you can just say whatever the heck comes to your mind, throw it online. And a bunch of people will either like it or comment it. We're so used to people making us feel good. We're so used to feeding our nafs. Whether it be things that are tangible or things that are intangible. And that is why we can't taste the sweetness of Iman. بنجاح وسلام وسنهدي كل الأوطان راية خير وأماني راية خير وأماني خفقات النور تجلى